guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful DR City of ZSL podcast. And today is one of those podcasts where, man, I love to speak my mind. Now, let's just get into this. I ended up having a, a conversation, as a matter of fact, with one of my students. And I'm not really care whether, you know, what people say about me and stuff like that. But apparently it has been brought to my attention that somebody, again, this had to had happened over the past, let's say, a several months, talk about, I don't know, specific tutors, let's say. And apparently I was in one of those, okay? My name was mentioned. And what had happened was, and to be honest with you, people, I've had some, I've had some students this year who just have really bad energy. Now, I cannot teach energy, that's okay. But it is important for me to do consultations to make sure, hey, I just wanna make sure that you're, you know, that both you and I and our energy match. And at the very, very beginning, I would have to say at the very beginning of this year in January, this is where I had three different types of women. You guys probably had already um, heard the podcast in terms of the tell of two tells. And a girl being very angry and all this about, you know, a couple of things and that. And I just gave her her money back and then, boom, that was it. Because I was just like, oh, okay, it seems like this has been bothering you for a long time. So you know what? Here goes the remaining couple of hours that you have and best of luck to you. Because to be honest with you, I'm always with the Tim Ferriss four-hour work week. Like, who is making up 80% of your unhappiness right now? And I'm just like, you know what? It feels like my sleep is being taken away because of this person. How about you kiss my ass and you go on and find somebody else? Like I said, I can give a damn about money. It's more about fulfillment, right? But it's funny because, you know, there are, you know, some of them are like, oh, you know, uh, I did, you know, irresponsible. And again, I don't know if this is directed directly towards me, but oh, I only did half my classes, et cetera, et cetera. And there was, again, this is the tale of two tales within the last, I guess you could say first couple of months of this year, I had a couple of students who were very rude, they were demanding, always wanted things, but anytime I tried giving them something free that could help them, I never got a thank you. They always nitpick and tried to find the negative in everything. Now, again, you know, considering one was going through a divorce at the time and another one was dealing with whatever and this and that, a number of things that ended up happening throughout this process. And so me, I'm just like, okay, now, could that be true? irresponsible no okay do i have to you know sometimes move my classes due to different things that happen because i teach literally at 6 a.m or in the evening sure that happens if you say oh well he kind of moves classes a little bit too much or whatever it may be and i'm like okay well fair enough oops i'm sorry world's gonna end <laughs> i'm so sorry the world is going to end i'm sorry i moved to class for 30 minutes the world is burning. It's on fire. Motherfuckers are flying. Okay. Now, if I look at, now, the biggest thing is, is the fact that some people believe that they don't have to put in the work to get results. And the last thing they said, oh, yeah, I learned with him, I guess. And they would say, but my score didn't improve. I remember I had one girl from Cuba last year. I thought she would have gotten much better, but listen, her English, my Cubans, their English is like at nothing. Okay, literally nothing. All right, they're getting 40s. All right, you're getting 40 out of 120 on TOEFL. You got to learn a little bit of English before we come to the next end. I mean, that's just how it's going to be. I'm sorry, but listen, I am not God. I am not Zeus. They do call me Black Jesus, but they call me Black Jesus for people who hold themselves accountable for their own goddamn scores, if you go from 43 to 50 and you don't improve or other women are like, oh, well, I took TST prep and I went from 40 to 65. These motherfuckers believe that they could go from 40 to 95. If you want to pay the Indians to get a fake certificate, go do that shit. I'm realistic. Sometimes I got to tell you, hey, you suck ass. I remember there was one girl who I recently had spoken to. And her English, I'm just like, hey, yo. But the thing is, she's realistic. She's like, okay, next year I'm going to take TOEFL. 
Some people are like, oh, I got a 43. I need a 100 in two weeks. I'm like, you could go talk to some of that, that sorry ass guy by the name of Miguel, whatever his name is from Venezuela. Okay. And you could go see if he will accept your money because I'm not going to be a part of your failure. Okay. You're going to take this L and you're going to take, you could go beat on your chest and go somewhere else with it because I ain't going to be a part of that because the first thing's going to happen if they end up getting, to be honest with you, over probably the last two weeks, a lot of my students have taken tests. A lot of them have gone from like 10 to 22 in their reading, some great big scores, and others have disappeared. Those ones who disappear are always the ones that end up saying, oh, well, I didn't improve or my score was this. It's because you fucking stuttered all the time. You hesitated all the time. You never sent me your essay. I remember I had a student probably about six weeks ago. You guys probably already heard this on the podcast. She literally just laid on her bed. I said, okay, can you take notes? Are you going to take notes? No. Or she would take notes and wrote just five words. And I'm just like, what the, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, if you're literally taking five word notes, you're going to go into your test and you're going to stink up the motherfucking show rude i remember i tried helping her with the essay she's like oh i already got help from someone can we just focus on speaking i say in order to get better at speaking you're gonna have to fucking speak not lay down on your bed okay maybe she has back problems you can speak while you're laying down on the bed if you're not gonna take notes you're not gonna speak and i'm just lecturing you as if i'm a fucking old ass fart at a university just lecturing three four hours to a bunch of fucking students who i can't communicate with you could fuck right off. And so by looking at those situations, for me, it's always the four course of credibility that always comes back. And that's the, of course, making sure my intent is in the right place, making sure I have that integrity. Now, again, like I said, you're not going to be able to make everyone happy. I remember I did a, a special project out here in Thailand, 55 54 of the 55 students absolutely loved me. One of them didn't. Next thing you know, I was the worst person in the world. That's how Thailand looks at you. You're going to have to get perfect. And the moment someone says one thing about you, I re remember I told you guys, uh, the times I gave presentations, they're like, oh, you use your hands too much. You're too funny. You're too personal. You have too much charisma. I'm like, oh, my motherfucking God. Some of the most special traits in all of the universe. And they're making it look like it's a goddamn negative. Those types of people, I have zero. Like, I cannot make you happy, nor can I help you develop discipline. If you are literally just not giving me 100%, you're giving me 10%, and then you take the test and you disappear, hey, listen, there's nothing I can do. You're going to hold this motherfucking L by yourself. You can go into a group and say, oh, I learned with him, and, you know, um, you know, I didn't even finish all the classes and this and that. Oh, hello. I saw a boy going back to what had happened two years ago. There was a crazy bitch from Mexico. No offense. This bitch was crazy. She paid through in, uh, through PayPal. I messaged her a ridiculous, hey, are we going to do our next class? Hey, 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 hey. A month later, I get a message from her saying, you scammer, at least give me my money back. And I'm like, excuse me? Do you not see all the messages? My thing is, I believe that her husband had her WhatsApp and he was deleting all my messages. And then next thing you know, she didn't know that I was messaging back or something like that. And then she just went batshit and just went crazy on me. I'm like, bitch, are you, here's your money, fuck right off. That was the craziest one that I ever had. That was two years ago in 2021 during the big shutdown, the Delta shutdown. And so again, like I said, like I am more than happy to give fee. And the thing, a lot of, some people, they come and some people, they understand, they get better. But some, yeah, some, listen, one girl, you guys already know her name. It doesn't really matter. But she was making like 100 errors in her independent essay. We had literally one paid hour left in three free hours. Hey, 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 can we get together? Hey, can we do this? Hey, can we do that? And the next thing you know, she ended up totally disappearing. And that was it. And I'm just like, okay. And so assuming that it was her, I'm like, well, to be honest with you, I was going to give you your money back in February because I thought you were a motherfucking 
B I T Z H a Buddha. I thought you were a Buddha. Yeah, I thought you were a total dick. You were very demanding. You were saying this. You were saying that. Another girl, the same name as her. She was always rude, never said anything. And I remember I gave her free stuff and she never said anything at all. And then there were other people who had very bad energy. They don't try. They don't do this. And I'm just like, Ugh. so what can I do? Number one, you got to make sure you evaluate the people that you're going to coach. That's what it comes down to, to be honest with you evaluate the people that you are going to coach because there's some and I oh my god about two weeks ago so funny there was this uh it was a Portuguese girl as a matter of fact that ended up getting in touch with me she's like okay I'm ready to start da, 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 da. next thing you know I never heard from her again I was like damn is this 2021 because there's a lot of a lot of fake people who try coming on and say okay uh I'm ready okay um I'm ready and I'm like you ain't ready you just disappeared on me get the fuck out of here a lot of people have that tendency of always disappearing and stuff like that but um, again, looking back at it, if I can evaluate people and say, okay, I'm going to let you know, and this and that, I remember there was one girl, I can't remember where she was from, but right when she got on the video, like I'm so good with energy. I'm like, oh my God, yo, she had the straightest face in the world, just like the other two, just like the other two at the beginning of this year. And the other one who was the laid down on the bed type of girl. Okay man, I'm just like, yo, I, I can't help you. I'm good. <laughs> here goes this, here goes that. Best of luck to you, you know? And so again, like I said, I haven't said it just yet on my podcast and stuff like that, but you know, there are going to be some changes to what, how I do the whole, the templates, the templates apparently work the most with AI tech because you're getting great at the most with TOEFL, IBT, AI tech. So me as an academic is totally different. Because I'm like, no, the academic way, it has to work. The academic way, it has to work. It has to work. It has to work. No, they actually get very low scores. Now, the thing is, Daniela Duran, she ended up getting a 16 on her test. But if you saw her writing, you would say, what? That's impossible. And so it's very quick to point blame and say, I got a 16. You're not good. But she didn't do that. Big shout out to you, Daniela. I know you listen to my podcast and you love me so much. And I love you like I do my next breath. But she does it. She's like, okay, you know what? Something's up. And then that's when I told her, hey, we're going templates again. We're just going to do it the bullshit AI tech way and let's hurry up and get this high score. But now she's going to start doing IELTS because obviously that's a far better test. TOEFL is a piece of shit. So anyways, how do I feel when I get these types of different, you know, these different things from people, uh, you know, uh, these, um, what is it? The, the you know, this, type of negative feedback. I don't really care because I know in my four course, the intent, the integrity, the capabilities to get the results. Is everyone going to get results? Not necessarily. There are some people who are at a 40, 50, 60. It's going to take you more time. You're not going to go from 40 to 90. And it, I know all those bullshit ass stories out there. I, I, I had a 60. I learned with this person. I got a 120. Shut the fuck up. No, you didn't. Uh, you fucking paid for that 120. And you better watch your ass because people are going to end up coming after you too. So me, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Whatever they say, I don't really give a damn. But I know that I produce results. That's the biggest thing. And unfortunately, yes, there are some... Students who I taught who went from 70 to 94. There's some students who I taught who went from 80 to 76. Now, because I'm a master of reading and listening now, and I'm going to have to switch it back up into the whole bullshit template way of doing things, um, the, the scores are going to shoot right back up again because the AI tech loves that. Apparently, there are not Indians who are grading the test. It's just the garbage-ass AI tech, tech software. So making sure you enunciate the words and everything is very, very important. But nonetheless, this is a nice little thing for me to just air all that out. Like I said, people could say whatever they want. Oh, we didn't even finish the classes and this and that. And again, like, you know, one of my, uh, you know, a girl had brought it to my attention, but I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. We didn't finish the classes. I know a couple of people we didn't finish the classes uh, and it was only one class. So don't say class is. Oh, and I remember you, you were a bitch. Okay, what about the other one? Yeah, Miss Lay Down on the Bed. We didn't finish a couple classes. Thank God she only paid for half the package at the time. 
she never came back around. Hell, I didn't want her to come back around. If you come back around, I'd be more than happy to give you your money back and I'm going to block the motherfucking shit out of you. A number of people who I've had to deal with that, you, you know, and I'm just like, oh my God. Boy, have you guys ever, have you guys ever like woke up one day and you're like, oh my God. I, I don't know if you're a dentist, whatever field of endeavor you're in, but you had to deal with someone who you're just like, oh, this energy draining motherfucker. There are a lot of times I wake up in the morning and there are some people who I do not want to spend my morning with. <laughs> have you ever had that? And so in the future, when these scores and all these other things start popping up and coming in, this is going to end up being a huge thing for me because I'm going to end up understanding a lot of things in terms of that. So nonetheless, people, this is kind of how it works in the world of TOEFL, uh, in the world of coaching. Not everyone's going to say, oh, you're this, you know, even Brenda Bashar, the number one high performance trainer in the world. People say, oh, you're so basic. People are always going to say things. And it's not up to you. Do you know who you are? And if you do, you should not be offended whatsoever. I shrug that shit off. I shrug it off all the time. I make sure that I am 100%. I got the integrity. I show up on time. I am well prepared and all of that. And if other people who say, well, yeah, I learned with him. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't that good. And my score was low. No, your score was low because you your fucking English is low. Okay. All right. I am not. I am not God. I cannot help you to the umpteenth degree. You are going to suck a lot of shit, ma'am. So nonetheless, people, these are the different experiences that I have, as, of course, as an entrepreneur. I've had the crazy, crazy shit happen two years ago. Now that I'm becoming more of a big name, nine out of 10 students are going to love me. One will not. And that one, I really don't give a fuck. You don't like me. And to be honest, I don't like your sorry ass. Okay. For the three, oh man, let's say if I had like 40, let's say 50 students this year, I would have to say about 10% suck shit. Not everyone's going to be fantastic. And that was my bad being so excited at the very beginning, trying to get students to, you know, okay, got to do this, got to do that. I've had other students, you know, with different names and saying, okay, I need to do this and do that and from different backgrounds. And people are going to blame you. People are going to blame you. Okay. Like, oh, you know, I still have my classes left. And yeah, did you re respond to your my messages? Okay, some accountability will go a long way. And you suck. Now, if you got some classes left, come on back, get your money, get the fuck out of my face. I don't care about you. Okay, you disappear because you chose to disappear. Where's the accountability? And so people with that being said, man, please, you cannot make everyone happy. And no, this is not going to hurt your brown as, as long as you know your four cores of credibility. I'm your host, as always, over and out.